Right, good morning, welcome back. Okay, today, Harley Davidson belt tension and alignment. Two very simple and straightforward tasks you can carry out yourself. All of the specifications are laid out in your service manual and it will save you an awful lot of money at the dealer if you can carry out this extremely simple, but at the same time, very critical service task at home yourself. Let's show you how it's done. Okay, first of all, measuring belt tension. It's extremely simple. The factory puts a measuring gauge into the bottom belt guard. Now, I wanna talk very briefly about bottom belt guards. Many people in the custom motorcycle world will take their bottom belt guard off because in their view, it looks cool. And that's okay, it's fine if you wanna do that. It is dangerous because the bottom belt guard is there for a reason. It stops stones getting dropped into the pulley and the belt interface and just destroying the belt. But we'll come to that in a minute. If you have taken your bottom belt guard off, but you have it, then pop it back on. It's a couple of screws. If you don't have it, then you're gonna to have to find another method of measurement because it is on the bottom belt guard that you measure the up and down movement. So we're gonna do that now. And it's very simple to do, but like all belts or chains, you always measure them at the tightest possible point and with the motorcycle stone cold. When a belt's been out for a road ride and it's come back, it's gonna be hot. That means it's gonna expand and you'll not get an accurate measurement. All the measurements in the service manual are measured cold and it makes that clear. So let the whole thing cool right down so it's cold to the touch and then spin the wheel around, just touching the belt underneath, just pushing it upwards and feeling for the tight spot. There will be one and it on a belt will only be marginally tighter than the rest, but that's the point where you measure it. So let's find that first. That's the tightest point of the belt achieved, sitting there correct. Now we drop it off the jack so that both tires are on the ground. And in the case of a Harley Davidson, as it says in the service manual, check it with the weight of a rider in the saddle as well. So let's do that. Okay, this is the correct scenario for checking your belt tension. Get it round to the tightest position, and we did both wheels on the ground and with Penny's help, the weight of a rider on the bike. Now that belt you'll notice is infinitely tighter than it was just now when it was up in the air. And that is now where you check the tension. And all you need to do is push up on that belt from below with 10 pounds pressure. That's all it is. Four and a half kilograms of pressure pushing up on the belt and it must move no more than five sixteenths to three eighths of an inch on the little gauge down there which is just two increments on those little lines. And if that's fine, then your belt's fine. Now, in case it's not, let's jack it back up and I'll show you how we actually adjust it if it needs to be. All right, to add tension to your belt, all you need to do is move the axle backwards and stretch that little bit of tension into it. It's ever so easy. And on these touring bikes, it's made easier still because there really are no alignment issues on a touring bike. With these, you get these curved adjuster plates either side of the axle. So you loosen off the nut and then you turn the head of the axle itself and it moves both those plates round simultaneously and they'll bring the axle back nice and straight. But if you haven't got this system and you've got the standard independent screws one either side, like most Harleys have, then it's very easy. There are other methods to check the alignment. You've got a little hole drilled in the swing arm in some of them. Some you have to measure up here at the swing arm pivot. But look, even if you've got all of that, there's a second way, a foolproof way, to check the wheel alignment on every single belt drive Harley just by looking at the back of the pulley. I'll show you. You could call this a kind of ready reckoner, if you like. It's to look at the back of your belt in its pulley and you'll notice that it sits in between two shoulders. It sits down in the pulley, the pulley cradles it and it gives it a little bit of expansion room as well. Because if you take a look in there, there's about a couple of millimeters either side of the belt. Now they won't always run bang on in the middle, but as long as they run in a consistent position, if you spin the wheel round and you see that the belt is running with a gap either side of it, no matter how small, it will sometimes only have a millimeter gap. But as long as it's running consistently with that gap all the time, then your wheel is absolutely perfectly aligned. If it's not perfectly aligned, then what's gonna happen is your belt is gonna try and climb out of the pulley. And that means it's gonna rub on the shoulders of the pulley and start doing damage. And that brings me to a few other points about the health of your pulleys and the belt that will save you a lot of money 
case anything goes wrong. The front pulley is not so bad. It lives in a cosseted environment up there behind the primary. So if the rear pulley is okay, the front one will be too. So let's just do a quick visual check of the belt itself to make sure all the teeth are okay and the pulley. There's a couple of things you need to check with that for sharp edges and whether you've worn the chrome out altogether, say on a high mileage bike. This is what I do. Starting at a known point, we'll take the bar and shield logo. Just with your finger, very gently, very gently, working away from the pulley for safety, just feel each one of the teeth and make sure there's nothing amiss. Nothing hanging out, nothing scratched, no chips or lumps out of them. And check at the bottom of them here, the root of them where they join the belt to make sure there's nothing fractured or they're moving. And obviously, you're looking for missing teeth as well. You can see that straight away. But if the belt like this one is absolutely superb, go all the way around, make sure it's 100%. And the same on the pulley itself. Mark a little start point with a dry wipe there, and then I can go around it. Again, working away from the pinch point here, just feel every single groove to make sure, very gently, don't rub it too hard. If there's anything sharp there, you don't want to cut yourself, but make sure if there is anything sharp, it might be chrome that's flaking off of this row of teeth, because these these grooves here, if you wish, these teeth, they are chrome plated. And you can feel that if you take a little screwdriver and gently, very gently, just rub them, you'll feel that is a super smooth, hard chrome surface. And if you're going to scratch every time you touch it, you'll know you've worn the chrome off. But then you'd know that again because it's super high mileage bike. But on this one, they are all absolutely perfect. Just make sure all the way around, every single one is nice and smooth. And there's nothing sharp on there that's going to lacerate the belt. Okay, now I hope this video has helped you in some way. I know that reading something procedurally in a manual is not as easy as watching it in a video. So again, I hope this has helped you to do that. But please do still get the manual. Please do read how to do it because Harley Davidson service manuals are amazing. They're just about as good as it gets. They're better than any of the universal manuals for Harleys. They truly are. There's some good ones out there, Climber and Haynes, whatever, but a Harley Davidson genuine manual is unsurpassed. It is the best. And I know they're a lot of money. They cost a fortune, 150 pounds in some cases, but look, honestly, save up. Or at Christmas time, ask your Aunt Maud to buy you one for Christmas. It's the best thing she'll ever buy you and you'll never regret having it. You truly won't. Your service manual is your Bible. It's a key to looking at doing all your own maintenance yourself and for what you spend on it, it will pay for itself, obviously, in no time at all. So there we are. You can do your own belt tension. You can do your own wheel alignment. You can do it yourself. You can save yourself a lot of money on your maintenance and it broadens your pride of ownership in your motorcycle if you take care of her needs all by yourself. So there we are. Thank you for watching. Take it easy. Ride safe. And we'll see you next time.